we took care of the, the remote install and the stripping all the old gear out. And Drill Mech did a lot of the um, fabrication and repairs on it and a few component change out. We've stripped it all back. We've taken all the old harnesses off. Um, it was all sort of installed maybe seven years ago. We've gone and installed a new RCE, all new brackets. We've taken all the components off, taken them back to the workshop, serviced them, given them a full rundown and test, and then we've reinstalled them back on there. All your receiver, teletransmitter and interface are all tucked away in there. Keep them out of the elements a bit more. We've installed the new ball cameras on it, which are more compact, lightweight, longer service life, higher definition, and service the older style, the blue bullet cameras that you'd see up there. One camera on the front, one camera on the rear, and one looking at the cab, just to protect the cab from any sort of obstructions underground. We've installed a new EMS monitoring system, so we've taken away all the old redundant sensors that we used to install on the engine, and now we just run off the cap monitoring system. Safety is the main priority. Keep them away from sort of the dangerous environment down there, around the stopes, and around a operating remote loader. It was pretty dead, I suppose. The tele system on it was, yeah, it, well, to be honest, it wasn't working at all. All the harnesses had been chopped, corrosion, wear and tear. Bringing it back to life with all the new harnesses, serviced all the gear, made sure everything was in working order. It's done 28,000 hours, I think, so yeah, it's given a second life.